Good morning. It's the 13th of August 2020 and I'm reading the Belfast Telegraph and I came across this article here. Last US Ranger of unit formed in Carrick, that's Carrick Fergus, dies. And this article um, refers to a guy called Lester Cook. And there he is with his Order of St. Morris Award. And the article's um, well researched and it's uh, written by a guy called David Reed. The last veteran of the original 1st Battalion US Rangers, which was formed at Carrick Fergus in 1942, has died. Lester Bernard Cook passed away on Sunday, born in Des Moines, Iowa. On September 25th, 1922, he enlisted in the Iowa National Guard while still at high school. His unit, the 168th Infantry Regiment, 34th Division, the Red Bulls, was activated on February 10th, 1941. Tributes were paid by the Mayor of Mid and East Antrim Borough, Peter Johnson. He said, I am sorry to hear. I am saddened to hear of the news of the passing of Lester Cook. I would like to offer my condolences to his family. Although he was not known to us personally, I can say that on behalf of the Council we feel and acknowledge this loss. The US Rangers Museum at Carrick Fergus was established in 1994 following a visit by a number of veterans. Original, and these were all original Derby Rangers from 1942 who donated their photographs, uniforms and medals and much more. We are honoured to, to be the birthplace of the US Rangers and we are committed to telling their stories and keeping their memory alive just as much today as we were then. We thank you for your service. And there's um, Officer Cook in his uh, uniform, probably in and around 1942. Stationed in Northern Ireland following the United States entry into the Second World War in December 1941, Mr Cook came to Sunnylands camp to try out for a new elite special operations force being raised as the spearhead of all Allied offences against the enemy in the war in Europe. He was one of 2,000 men who were put through a vigorous selection process. Only 500 made the cut. The new unit was uh, officially activated on June 19, 1942, and that was at Carrick Fergus. In a recent telephone interview, Mr. Cook said, I had no idea what I was getting into when I took, and when I saw a notice on the bulletin board about the Rangers, I was stationed in Belfast, Ireland with the 168 Infantry. He went on to serve the full tour with Derby's Rangers. The original first Ranger Battalion comprised six line companies. Eventually this would come to a number of 2,000 men. The Rangers were instrumental in the Allied assaults on North Africa, Sicily and Italy. Some 198 Rangers were brought home in 1944. Most of these were from the original Derby's Rangers. This elite commando style force remains the only U.S. military unit to be formed on foreign soil. Uh, and that, that's uh, extremely significant. Mr. Cook's military career spanned three wars and 26 years. He earned two silver stars, purple hearts and the presidential unit citations, among other accolades. This summer, Mr. Cook was inducted into the Ranger Hall of Fame at Fur Fort uh, Benning, Georgia. He passed away on Sunday following a stroke. His loss is felt by the wider uh, World War II Rangers community of veterans and descendants where he was an active member of their Facebook page on which he participated up until a few months ago. Recently the US Senate unanimously passed the United States Army Rangers Veterans of World War II Congressional Gold Medal Act. Pending approval by the House of Representatives, it is hoped a medal presentation will take place next year to honour and give recognition to the World War II uh, Rangers. Now, 
I have actually uh, been up to Carrickfergus and to been up to the Rangers Museum uh, that is, is located beside the President Andrew Jackson uh, Cottage uh, where Andrew Jackson's, uh, I think his parents actually lived. Um, so the Ranger Unit Memorial uh, Museum is located just in behind that and I have uh, walked around that museum and videoed everything that I could think of. Uh, so I'll leave a link at the bottom of this video. Um, so I just found this, this uh, article um, extremely interesting. And I'm trying to work out the, you know, uh, how old Lester Cook must have been. He, he was born 1922, so that makes him, what, 98? Right. Uh, a, a piece of uh, Carrick Fergus in Northern Ireland history, a, a, a very interesting piece. Um, you know, the, the US Rangers are the only American unit to be formed on foreign soil and here they were formed at Sunny Lands uh, Camp at Carrick Fergus. Now I've videoed uh, the commemoration stone at Sunny Lands which is now a housing estate. Okay, I hope you found that interesting. I certainly did. And I, and I might add actually um, that I found this um, this article particularly interesting because the Lester Bernard Cook came from Des Moines in Iowa and I have a YouTube uh, poster friend Greg and uh, I regularly correspond with him because he's uh, rebuilding a, a 450 Nighthawk Honda um, <laughs> And I'm watching his videos uh, and I used to have a 450 Nighthawk uh, Honda and it was a superb machine but he also uh, comes from Iowa so this uh, we, we've video um, is especially for you Greg okay